is Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Souls video. I'm going to do a little bit of an overview on Defend Karakura Town and the team I'm using because I used them last time and they seem to be working better even this time. But before I do that real quick, let's run down some quick news. Season Pass 8 is rescheduled if you didn't notice. So Season Pass 7 has ended. They did not give a date for when it would be rescheduled, but it is currently not active and we're expecting it to be Renji. Also, um, maintenance was finished up. They added some additional stages to Extreme Challenge 550 to 650. And a new feature is being added, version overviews and some optimizations, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've already been running the Extreme Challenges. I think I'm already at... 564 I don't know I'm just guessing at this point somewhere around there I'm trying to record them all so I keep going back and forth with that one last bit of news for you the contest is contest has come to an end I will be entering everybody that commented under the video into the randomizer this weekend and I will be pulling two winners at a minimum possibly three now i may even add another one to thank you guys so much for your support and i will be announcing those winners next week i anticipate doing that on tuesday with that let's get to what this video is really about and that is defend karakura town karakura town is back they did do something this time which I am not happy with and they changed the rewards. Last time around if you um, broke that 300 mark you could get 24 tokens. Now it is 23 which means you have to get over 500 to even get 24 which I have yet to be able to do but I'm trying because if they're going to keep screwing us I'm going to keep pressing them. With that, let's talk about the team I'm using and how efficient they've become. First up, I use Kid Biakia. I just think he's amazing. You don't have to level him up like crazy. He does what he's supposed to do with his skill set, and that is give you crits. Okay. The War Souls I use on him, I use crit. And um, during the... When I use him in gameplay, I also use on him um, a Chaos. I find that to be very well, work very well with him. I usually put him in the front top slot. And one more side note everybody always hoards their resources to hit when the shields are down, but certain characters it does not make a difference with because they're not there for the attack. They're there for their skill sets. Kid Biaki is one of those. The first time he usually rages, it's after that first set. So I go ahead and activate him even if the shields are up because he tends to rage more the longer he's in play. So I want to get that first one over with, get the crits up for everybody. And then after that, I focus on him when the shields are down on the next two times. The next character I use is Anniversary Ichigo. You gotta love him, he's amazing. I use him in that second front line spot. With him, I generally use, it's a toss up right now. The last run I did, which I got 380 on, I used Vigilance and Soaring on him. But, next time around, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put back on him the war soul I was using last time. And that was a crippling. I'm really hoping if I put that crippling back in, I might be able to squeak out or get closer to 400. Who knows? You'll see, because I'll post those videos, of course. With also with Anniversary Ichigo, another character. Do not wait for shields to go down. Whenever he activates, you hit right away, because what you care about is giving those characters rate in their increasing their rage so you got to get him going right away and keep that going throughout the game the last one on the front line 
is AY, of course, you gotta have her. She's amazing, or he. And on AY, I use a crit always and a permafrost usually. But with that said, I'll probably make some more adjustments on that one because there are some other options. Last time around, I strictly use those two, but I'm trying to increase the damage this time around. AY though is one of those characters you only hit when the shields are down, unless she's active, of course, for round 10, then you've gotta just let her go. Next up is an oldie buddy goodie, Nell. She is the top back row for me. And another one that you want to wait for those shields to be down because you want to get that increase for your other attackers. She should be going first. And I use a Crimson and a Rage that never changes. That is my staple on Nell. Next up is an even bigger oldie but goodie, and that is the original Aizen. He's amazing using him in this particular event. He never disappoints. I use a Wrath and a Mystery on him, but that can change up. In particular, usually I'll move the Mystery off and put a Vitality on him for purposes of this event. Another character you only hit when the shields are down. He is one of your main attackers. Last, but definitely not least, our newest Ichigo. He's amazing. We all know it. I use a Wrath on him. And also with him, I use... Oh, what did I use? Oh, yes. A Tides. I keep the Tides on him. That That is just amazing on him for purposes of this event. Why? Because not only are you getting the extra healing, but the reason why is of course I mean, increased damage rate of 10% and regenerates 100 plus 25 rage. Of course, he is, I've got the attack symbol on there so I get that extra percentages which they've so lovely given us now so it's much easier to figure out. But he is your main damage dealer. Him in AY with Aizen version run one in the background is number three. But that is the main setup. I used the last Defend Karakura Town with the War Souls. And I'm doing it again. And out of the gate last night, I was able to get 380 mil. So with that, let's see what we can do. I'm hoping to squeak it up there. I don't think I'm going to hit the 500, but I'm going to try. With that, keep your eyes out for the winners from the contest. Like and subscribe. We're about to break 5,000 subscribers which just blows me away thanks for your support have a great day